Uh, hey guys, this is uh, Paul Salvet out here in Bangkok, and this is the uh, Smash Words formatting t tutorial, the quick and dirty method. Um, I, I, I like Smash Words. Um, it has a lot of options that uh, Amazon does not. For instance, you can uh, upload uh, uh, free books, which is great. You know, if you're getting started, you want to do some promotion and things like that. You can also give out coupons and things like that. And Smash Words um, allows you to take your uh, your self-published work and uh, puts it on places like the iBook Store, uh, the Barnes and Noble Nook. Uh, the diesel bookstore and uh, other other places that you know it's tough for you know your average schmo uh, self publisher like myself to have access to so i i kind of like uh, i like smash smash words um the problem is um to uh, get your uh, files uh, converted you have to upload a, a word document um, and it has to go through something called the Meat Grinder, where it converts it into, you know, EPUB, MOBI, uh, in, in a bunch of other formats. So um, there's kind of a, a lot of margin for error. Um, it's not like you're taking a, a perfectly clean HTML file and converting it in Caliber. Uh, so um, when you put it through the Smashwords Meat Grinder, there is some margin for error, but. Um, I think I found a, a pretty good way to take a, a pretty basic, uh, you know, story or short story and kind of get it converted with no errors and something that's going to be able to pass the EPUB validation and go to all these other bookstores. So uh, let's let's have a look. Let's have a look at my uh, manuscript. So we're going to start here. Uh, this is my manuscript. It's called America Goes On. It's a novella. Um, this is the uh, title page. You have to have this in your title page. It has to say something like this. Um, I just like to keep it simple. You know, I don't like to put all that lawyer nonsense down there. You know, this is this is what's required. This is what's required. And I, I, I'm kind of the kind of guy who only does, you know, the base requirement. Um, so this is my, uh, my, my uh, manuscript. Now... I've done editing. My, you know, my editors looked at it. I've got my uh, my cover art. I'm ready to um, kind of publish this. The problem is when I open my Word document, you know, the formatting is just it's terrible. It's it's awful. I this would never pass the meat grinder. I have the um, uh, this little paragraph thing turned on. You can see I've got like tabs everywhere, page breaks, like these random spaces. Um, it's just it's just a terrible mess. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to take a messy uh, manuscript and kind of uh, make it into something that will pass the meat grinder and that um, Smashwords will be able to distribute and to sell on their website. Now, um, let's talk a little bit about just we want to get the rough layout done. We want to get the rough layout done in Word. So I've got, a, a, a you know, like a title page and then, you know, the chapters of my, my novella. And then down here at the at the bottom, uh, you know, we've got, you know, author's notes. That's just some things I left. Um, a little bit about me. I don't, I don't know if anyone cares about me, but I, I did put that in there. Um, you know, a little bit about uh, this is like the back jacket. You know, that's my, uh, my description. And uh, here's the author, editor, cover artist, you know, a dedication, things like that. Um, so I've got this. It's kind of pretty well roughed out. But what we want to do is um, get it so we can uh, get it, you know, 100% formatting and so that it'll be able to be uploaded to Smashwords. So uh, let's take a look at how to do that. Uh, the first thing we have to do is um, when you uh, – what we want to do is basically take all this and put it into a text editor. And what that's going to do is going to strip all the formatting. It's going to strip everything, um, and that's what we want because there's a lot of like corruption and weird stuff going on inside of Microsoft Word, and we need a clean as file as possible. So uh, what I'm going to do is, um, since we're going to strip the format, we need to find all like our italics and our bolds and our underlines because all that stuff's going to get lost when we put it in the text editor. So uh, what we can do is uh, put some placeholder tags around everything. And I've made a handy dandy script here. Uh, so, so what we do is uh, we press Control H, find and replace. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and go font italic. I'm going to turn off wildcards right now. So font italic and just leave it blank. 
So what that's going to do, it's going to find anything italic, and I'm going to replace it with this. Okay, and what that what that's going to do is it's going to find anything italic, and when I hit replace, you see it wraps those cues around there. That's just going to be a placeholder, so I know when I bring it back from my text editor into Word, I can convert those italics back. So replace, you know, replace, it's etc. Um, and I'm going to do that for uh, my underlines and my bolds too. But for the bolds, I'm not going to care so much about like the chapter headings and things like that because I'm going to mess with those a little later in the, the Microsoft styles. So let me just get my, um, my bolds done here. Oops. So we want to turn off italics, turn off underline, just bold, just bold. And then we put in this script right here, and what this is going to do, it's going to wrap the uh, the B's around any um, thing that's bold. So find next, replace, uh, replace. You know, it it, find, it goes up to one of my chapter headings here, but I don't want to mess with that right now. Don't worry so much about that. We're going to change that with the styles later. So I'm going to finish up getting my bolds, italics, and underlines done, and I'll get back with you guys. All right, so I've gone through, uh, I've wrapped uh, these placeholder tags from my bolds, my italics, my underlines. Now I'm ready to take this entire document and just take it to a text editor. And that's just going to totally destroy any formatting and corruption that's in Microsoft. So to do that, make sure um, I've got these notes from my editor over here. We're going to go here, go on final, just because we don't want to take those with us. And I'm going to hit control A, control C, and then I'm going to open up my text editor. This is a basic text editor. This is uh, Notepad++. Great program. It's free and open source. Um, and I'm just going to hit Control V and let's see how this looks. All right. So going to the top, you'll notice, um, you know, the paragraphs. This is like the first paragraph. Notice how it's like one long line. That's that's what you want. That's what you want. You don't want the text to wrap. And you'll also notice that like all the um, the, the the font is the same and like everything's the same but first we gotta get everything I delete all these unnecessary spaces uh, delete blank lines so to do that um, first let's get rid of our tabs you don't want any tabs in your document and that's real easy to do just um, what you do is in your text editor you click control H for find and replace you know I wanna I wanna find what it's just slash T that's looking for a tab, and I'm just going to replace it with a blank. Just nothing. All right, so find next, and, you know, replace, replace, or I'm just going to replace all. There we go. So that took out all the tabs. Next thing we want to do is um, we've probably got a lot of, like, double spaces, like right here in between. Uh, I leave these by accident all the time. I'm a total slob. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to delete all those double spaces. So find what, just space, space, and replace with just one space. There we go. So we've found a few of those. Uh, next thing we want to do, we want to, you'll notice like sometimes there's like spaces at the end of uh, periods or before chapters. You know, we want to get rid of all that stuff. All that needs to go away. Everything, there needs to be no space before each line and no space at the end of each line. Very important. All right, so what I'm going to do to do that, uh, Notepad++ says the feature, you click Edit, Blank Operations, Trim Leading and Trailing Space. All right, it's all gone. See, there's no spaces at the end of each line. It's really nice. And there's no spaces before each line. And now what we have to do, we have to get rid of all these blank lines. So we just want everything to be like one long line, no white space, no white space whatsoever. Uh, and I'm going to work on that, and I'll get back with you guys. All right, so we've gone ahead and uh, we've deleted all the blank lines. There's just no white space. Uh, this is exactly what we want. Nothing. No blank white space. Um, and what we want to do now is we're going to take this and put it into a Word document. But let's get our Word document ready first. So this is just a blank document. You know, I haven't changed anything at all. Um, first thing we want to do, we want to make sure we save it, save as a 2003, uh, 97 to 2003 document. That'll save it in the DOC format 
That's uh, what we need. We're gonna need to upload to Smashwords. They do not take DOCX files. All right. And uh, next thing we need to do, we need to make sure our auto formatting is okay. So I'll click on the little Windows guy here. Word options, proofing, auto correct options. All right. For the auto format, we want to make sure these none of these are selected. But we want to make sure just straight quotes with smart quotes and hyphens with dash are selected. And we also want to go to uh, auto format as you type. And same thing, straight quotes with smart quotes and hyphens with dash. But we want to make sure um, just like none of this stuff is selected. You don't want any of this stuff. All right. Click OK here. Another thing we got to check, we got to check out our margins. We have to check out our margins. Um, just to make sure they're all one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. Okay, that's good. That's what we want. That's what we want. Um, now, one thing I forgot to mention, um, we want to look out for, uh, there's these things, uh, these special characters. Sometimes Microsoft Words puts them in, and what those are is they're little, like, characters, like, you know, letters from foreign languages and stuff like that that, um, some e-readers can't read most notably adobe digital editions they can't read uh some of these things so when you know the readers going to look at it they find like a it'll be like a big you know some weird you know ascii thing you know they're like w what is this you know why did this author send this to me what a jerk you know so we don't want to be jerks so what we're going to do i've got this uh, real nifty script here and what it does is it looks for any uh, uh, characters that, you know, an e-reader might not be able to uh, recognize. So what we want to do, it's called the regular expression. And I don't want to explain how those work. They're real nerd stuff. I, I don't even know. I just found this somewhere. All right. So what this is going to look for is any weird characters, basically. So let's uh, let's see what we got. All right. See, I found one. I found one. This little guy down here, naive. It's got this little eye with the the two dots on it. I don't know. Is that German or something? I don't know. But we don't want this because like an. Uh, so I'm going to change that with just a regular eye because um, you know some e-readers aren't going to be able to read it. And it's going to look all messed up. All right. So there we go. So we're good there. So now that our text document is good to go, I'm going to take it all. Hit Control A, Control C, and then we're going to go to our blank Word document. We're going to hit control V okay you know you'll notice I've got the uh, little paragraph thing turned on you'll see um, this is good this is good there's no um, you know weird spaces the formatting's all the same this is exactly what we want and we can work with this and uh, we'll work with this in part two